Hi YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode we're looking at a demo emulator and specifically emulating Naomi, Naomi 2 and Sammy's Atomis Wave architecture. Now I know demo can emulate Dreamcast, but from my perspective if you want to emulate Dreamcast then plump for the Redream emulator which is far easier to use, operates better on lower end systems and is prettier than demo. The reason I've chosen to use demo today is because I like to put these games in an arcade cab I want the experience of putting in a coin and it feeling like an arcade machine. So for me, Demo was a great way of doing that for the Naomi and Naomi 2 games. Now Naomi is effectively the Dreamcast in disguise, based on the same architecture and released in 1998. The Naomi 2 board is higher powered and the games do look a little bit better than the Naomi and Dreamcast games, but there aren't that many. So let's get on with looking at Demo. As ever, you're going to need some games and some BIOS. As ever, I can't tell you where you might find them. A good Google search will do you well. Maybe there's some websites around with some advice. Who knows? But here I have some Naomi and some Thomas Wave games and a number of biases for all of the platforms on the Demo emulator. But let's download Demo. Demo's been around for a number of years and not been updated for many, so it's quite a stable platform. So we'll quickly download that from the site. I'll leave a link below in the description. And we'll just close that down. Plug that on the desktop, then we'll unzip that onto the desktop as well. Okay, so we'll just delete our 7-zip file, just to make it a bit tidier, and then we'll have a look at demo. So, then we'll execute to open up the emulator. It will tell you it needs to be set up, and we'll do that now. So, first things first. You'll need, to look, you'll need to tell Demo where to find your games and BIOS. Now you can dump that into the folder of Demo, but I'll show you how to add them. Simply a case of browsing through to wherever you've got your BIOSes and games and adding them as an additional location. And Demo will search all the folders you attach here as a link. So there's our BIOS folder, we'll just add that. Now we'll add the games, Thomas Wave, and then the Naomi games. There are quite a few games, and actually quite a number of repeated slight variations on the games you can get if you download the, the Naomi games. Um, I've only got a few in the folder, just to illustrate how this works, but if you can get them, they all run. Um, any sort of arcade emulation can be a bit dodgy, but, but that's fine. One, one thing to note, um, here we've just changed the plugin to the old DX11. And that means you can go, as we're about to now, go into config and you can actually adjust the the games. But we'll do that shortly. So you're all just logging in for illustrative purposes here, a gamepad. And again, make sure your gamepad is on before you start the emulator, otherwise it won't be recognised. Um, I would normally, of course, on a, on a cab, you'll just locate this through your, whatever tool you're using to map your keyboard, um, through your joystick and buttons. Here we're just using an Xbox One controller. Um, analog sticks work for the driving games. So make sure you don't use up and down on analog for your acceleration brake, otherwise it's very difficult to steer and accelerate. Um, so we'll just put in a few buttons here just to make sure it's all working. Okay, let's put in the start button and a, obviously a coin button so we can put in some coins and then we're done. Okay. So to start a game, you go into whichever emulator you want to go in, select the game and make sure it's the version for the ROM you have, and then press OK. It takes a few seconds, it can seem like it's not doing much but it will get there eventually. Now of course because this is an arcade cab it will boot like an arcade cab, so you can have sometimes um, have quite long load screens. I'll just fast forward this one, it normally takes 30 seconds to start. Um, But there we are, Dead or Alive 2. Looking pretty decent. Considering this game is nearly 20 years old, it really doesn't show, does it? I think it looks superb still, and I love playing Dead or Alive. Another Virtual Fighter 4 as well is a particular favourite of mine on the Naomi 2 emulator. It's really nice and smooth, really good graphics, 
nice sound, responsive controls. And when it's in a cab, it feels like you're in a proper cab. You wouldn't think it's been emulated. Looks really good. Okay, what a Bosch. I have to admit, in 2020, I think some of these cutscenes are a bit questionable. So here we are, Virtua NBA, another example. What we've just done there is press the F6 button, which toggles us between a white screen and a normal 4x3 dimensions, which you can choose. Again, this game looks great. I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to playing basketball. I'm an Englishman. I'm great at soccer. Know a bit about rugby. Love watching cricket. Basketball's a mystery to me. But it looks great and it's fun to play. So what can what can I tell you? But again, it looks really smooth and a really good game. Okay, that will do. So Capcom versus SNK, another Naomi game. This is a 2D fighter, so no real struggles doing this. Again, feels really responsive. This is a great one for the cab. Two player up. Really good fun to have a mate around with a few beers. That's what arcade cabs are all about. And this is a great game to play. Okay, and obviously here, here I'm using the Xbox One controller, which is not my preference. And if you're going to use a controller, as I've said earlier, really do consider using the Redream emulator for Dreamcast, which is nice and smooth. It's not this isn't responsive, it's just that for me, for, for ease, for a Dreamcast game, I'd much rather use Redream. But this looks great, and for arcade camps, it's fantastic. So we'll, we'll just finish off here, and then we'll shift on to the Samus and Thomas Wave games. So again, same process, select Samus and Thomas Wave, select the game you want, and it will start the same way. So here we have Dolphin Blue, which is a game I'm not sure was ever actually bought to Dreamcast. So again, the beauty of emulating some of these old arcade machines is that there are a few games that just weren't brought over to the platform that were Japan only or you may have not have seen. So it's worth having a look through. There's a couple of good games out now. Dolphin Blue is a game I really like. Very similar to Metal Slug, but just with dolphins and water, which is you know, a novelty. Can't really complain about that. Again, looks really good. Really pretty graphics for a 2D platformer. Nice and slick, really responsive. And really good fun. If you haven't played this and you like Metal Slug, really give it a go. It's a great game. Great fun. And great one for kids as well. My, my daughter loves this game. And, and the Metal Slug series as well. I think the 2D platformers for young kids are a really great way to get them into your hobby if you're looking to get them into gaming. I don't think Final Fantasy VII is where you start any six-year-old, is it? Okay, very nice. So I think you get a good uh, So I think you get the grips of that one. Let's um, move on swiftly now. Here's another one I don't recall seeing. Guilty Gear 10, another 2D beat 'em up. I think the animation looks really good. Yeah, it's a really good fun game to play. I think it's something I'd have rushed out to buy, but if you can have a look at it, I think it's worth doing so. But just in terms of illustrating the, the quality of the emulation, I think it looks as good as it would have done when it first came out. Maybe slightly better if you enhance the graphics. When it comes to enhancing those graphics, you can do that through the config, as we said, if you select the old DX11 option rather than if you don't want to adjust it stick with dx11 if you do want to adjust the resolutions of the old dx11 you can switch it you can switch them around a bit it's worth giving it a go like i said demo can be a bit temperamental um, so you may find that you it doesn't emulate well so just try around play around with the settings it won't do any harm see what's best for you see if you see a difference and you don't see any glitches um, and there you go so this is faster than speed which i'm not sure quite what it means i think that's it you've got the gist it's a great emulator. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give us a thumbs up. We do this once a week. Please consider subscribing as well as some new and old PC builds. Hope to see you again soon. Until the next one, go well.